guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about what my favorite pens are. I have loved different writing utensils and pens and, and highlighters and stuff my entire life. And I finally have like my holy grail pens and there's still a lot that I have not tried. Like my favorite pens is like not that many compared to a lot of people in this community. <laughs> But I just want to share what my favorites are and then hear what your favorites are so we can hopefully, you know, just try all the pens, right? So I have this notebook here of just plain, like, it's just a, you know, a journal. Then I have this uh, black paper notebook. Now this, when I say I've loved pens and stuff my whole life, this is from 2003. I was 10 years old and... Yeah, and I still have it, and it's <laughs> just black paper that I use for testing out pens, basically. So, I have this for the um, some of the gel pens that I'm going to show you how they write, um, and then this for all the others. So, I'm going to start with these. Now, yes, I know technically these aren't pens, these are highlighters. However, so these are mild liners. You've probably seen them. And they are double-ended, so they have the chisel tip for highlighting, and then the fine tip for writing. And I, you know, I'd probably call this more of a marker than a pen. However, I wanted to include them because I have pretty much, well, not pretty much, I have. I've ditched all my other highlighters for these, and I thought that, that my liners were just going to be like, you know, everybody had them and I thought it was going to be like, oh, they're actually not that great. It's just like, they're aesthetically pleasing and they have all these different colors and everybody was talking about how great they were. And I started off by buying uh, a pack off of somebody on Instagram that they were selling and it came with these. So it was these four and when I got them and I started using them, I immediately, I was like, oh, this is what the hype is about. <laughs> so <laughs> they're just, they're just so consistently good. Like all the colors and they're called mild liners because they, you know, they're not like the highest pigment, like they're not super opaque. And so it's going to depend on, you know, the pen that you write with as far as if it's going to smear. My biggest thing, um, or my, here, let me see. Well, we'll get to that in a little bit. So like, just to show you what the fine tip writes like, it is still thick. Like you, I, again, I would consider this more of like a marker. So it's kind of hard to write small with it. And it does have like, Sometimes the end gets kind of frayed on this fine tip part. Um, and I don't have the best handwriting, so, you know. But that's pretty much, you know, how it writes. Um, I use it for, like, doodling and things. Underlining. Just, it's just a good, it's just good. Um, and so my favorite, can you guess, is this one, the purple one. But the ones that I use the most are probably these gray ones. Something about a gray highlighter and like this darker gray. Oh my God. I, I love it. Oh my God. Look at that. So I'm going to show you in a little bit um, the pen that I write with the most often in my planner when I'm using these and show you how it doesn't smear. So that's my first favorite, mild liners. Yes, I think they live up to the hype. Um, personally, I recommend buying them individually. Um, and I know that that ends up being more expensive usually, unless you have, you know, a good coupon. But for me, um, like I was saying, you know, the first mild liners I got were in a pack. So it was these four together. But then, you know, I would go into Michael's and I'd look at all the different packs that they had. And... I just wasn't in love with all the colors and I didn't want to end up with these colors I wasn't going to use. So I just started buying them individually. And so, you know, I'll go into Michael's and be like, like the last time I went, I just bought this one. 
I wanted the orange and that's what I got. So um, I just recommend, you know, try to buy them individually if you're like me and you don't want to end up with a bunch of colors that are just going to sit there and you're not going to use them. And I did, you know, I had a coupon so I was able to get it for pretty cheap. Um, but yeah, my liners, they're great. They live up to the hype. Okay. Next is a relatively new obsession that I have with Jelly Roll. <laughs> Number one, I love the name, Jelly Roll. Um, these are fantastic for writing on black paper. So I did buy these in a pack at Michael's and you can see that one of them is 0.5, so that's fine tip. Then you have 0.8, medium tip, and then 10 or like 1.0 um, is the bold tip. And I wanna show you how they write on black paper. Oh my God. <laughs> I just, I love them. Now the fine tip is, um, I use this most frequently for, actually when I'm, when I'm writing on just regular like white paper, my planner and I, um, you know, say I use like a black pen and I, you know, make a mistake. I use the white, like the fine tip to just kind of add in, kind of use it like as white out. Um, I mean, yeah. Here's the point eight. Oh my God. There's something so satisfying about writing on black paper. I don't know what it is. So yeah, Jelly Roll pens, absolutely love. These white ones are great for black paper. Now these you can use on either, um, well these two I should say. I've never tried this on black paper, I don't think it's gonna show up, no. These two you can use on either, you know, just white or light color paper or black paper. So here is, it's like a bright like fire engine red, hopefully the camera picks that up. You can see it does show up on black paper. Um, it's not as, you know, not as bright on the black paper. You kind of have to like go over it a few times. But this one, this is the Jelly Roll, what's it called? See, it has this little like, star thing it's it's metallic i bought this individually at michael's so you can see it does show up but it's not great the really on black paper um you're gonna want like neon colors or white um, and I just bought these mainly for using in my planner. I love this like dark, oh my God, this like vampy red. I love this so much. It's like, it really is kind of like blood colored. <laughs> I really like it. So yeah, jelly roll pens I'm absolutely in love with. Um, I did really hope that the red was gonna show up better on the black paper just because it is so bright. Um, but I really need like neon colors, but the white, I mean, look at it. The white is just absolutely perfect. And this red on white paper is beautiful. And I love this metallic one. Next we have felt tip. So for felt tip pens, these are my two favorites. So first is the classic Sharpie pen. Um, I remember using these in college, like when they came out, it's an incredibly fine tip. And you do have to kind of hold it like upright. Like if you hold it like this, kind of at an angle, you can see it doesn't really write. So this is one of those where you kind of have to hold it. Oh, of course this one is drying out. <laughs> uh, this one is drying out um, because I have used it so much, but this is just a good fine tip felt point. Felt, fine tip. This is just a good felt tip you know, fine point pen and it doesn't bleed through the paper. It's just, it's just great. And then this is a Papermate Flare. You probably recognize it. This is just the color I picked out. I have 
dozens, uh, literally, of <laughs> colors of Paper Mate flares. It's just a really good pen slash marker. I mean, it really is, you could consider it a marker. Um, I've definitely colored in like um, adult coloring books and things with Paper Mate flares. Um, I like the variety of colors that they come in. I like that you can get, this is the medium tip. You can also get the ultra fine tip, which is basically exactly like this on the Sharpie. It's just a really good pen. It doesn't smear, it dries instantly. Um, it feels, you know, really good writing on the paper. It's just, it's just good. Just a classic, you know? Okay. And now we have the gel pens. So, I do not have any ballpoint pens in my collection of favorite pens. I am just not, I don't want to say I hate ballpoint pens because I don't hate them, but as far as for journaling, planning, memory keeping, all this stuff that I do, I just never reach for ballpoint. I just don't. I just, <laughs> I'm just not a huge fan of it. So gel pens are my favorite. Now, a lot of people have this idea that gel pens all are going to smear and you're not going to be able to, you know, really use them and they're going to bleed through the paper. And I'm just going to show you how my favorite ones write and why they are my favorites and what my ultimate favorite is, at least for right now. That's, you know, it changes all the time. All right. This right here is the Bic Gelosity. 0.5 millimeter. So this is a fine tip and it is very fine tip and it is such a good pen. Does not smear. You can highlight over it. This is one of my all-time favorites. When I need a good fine point gel pen, I always reach for this. Um, I'm not crazy about the like pattern on here. That's being incredibly nitpicky, but <laughs> it does matter. Um, but I just, it's just a really good fine point gel pen. It doesn't smear, it dries instantly. It, it's, it's great. That's one of my favorites right now. This is an oldie but a goodie. Pilot G2. Oh man, the Pilot G2. Now this is the bold point. Um, as you can see, and I do have several of these. I have the fine tip, the medium. Um, this is the bold, and I really, there's something about this pen for journaling with that bold point, with that ink just kind of like flowing out of, oh my gosh. I mean, it's just so satisfying to write with. And these do come in a variety of colors. And they're actually, um, I don't have any here right now. I can't even think of where I have them. But I have, they make little mini ones, so they're basically about that that size. Um, little mini Pilot G2s, and those are 0.7, I believe. But this is just such a good pen. Um, it doesn't smear. Even with, you see how that ink came out very thick? You know, it just kind of pours right out. You can use the mild liner over it. It doesn't smear. It's just, it's a classic. I always come back to the Pilot G2. When I want a good, you know, bold point, I always go for this one. This right here is a relatively new discovery. This is the Pentel Energel, um, Energel X, sorry. And <laughs> this is the 0.7. Now this is purple ink. So you know immediately I already love it for that. I love the shade of purple. It does not smear. It dries almost instantly. Here, let's try out this gray one. You can highlight over it. It's a really good, it's a good pen. I also have this in black. And I love this one. Obviously, I'm a purple, purple's my favorite color, but I love that, you know, the actual pen itself is purple. It has a purple grip. And it's purple ink. <laughs> so I really love that. And I also love, um, yep. And I also love the black version of this. I just, it's just a good gel pen. Oh, Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel. 
my first adult gel pen. <laughs> so prior to the Papermate ink joint gel, prior to me discovering them, um, I had kind of like, like I said, I've always loved pens my entire life. But as an adult, um, I had kind of just gone back to, I'd kind of fallen out of love with pens or forgotten about my love of pens. And I had kind of just gone back to picking up, you know, ballpoint pens and just using whatever, not being super picky about it. Um, I do remember when I first tried one of these because, you know, everybody was talking about them. And the big thing about these was that they came in so many colors. And I feel like at the time, when I discovered these, which was probably back in like 2015, 2016, um, there weren't a lot of good gel pens that came in so many colors. I mean, they have, I mean, I'll put a picture, like so many colors of Ink Joys. And they also come, this is the 0.7, the medium tip. They also come in fine point in 0.5. So it's just the, the biggest thing about these is the variety. And oh my gosh, I mean, every time I use one, like, Sometimes I'll kind of fall out of using them and I always come back to the Papermate Ink Joy Gel. Like, it's just a consistently good pen. Dries almost instantly. Pretty much every highlighter I have goes over it without smearing. It's just... It's such a good pen. It's just a, it's a staple and I highly recommend them um, just alone, you know, for the colors, like for the variety, but also because they write really well and they dry instantly and they're comfortable to hold. They, I mean, the whole thing is a grip, basically. You can see that. Okay, so we're down to these. These are the same. I don't know why I have two. <laughs> this is the Sharpie S gel. This is the medium one, the 0.7. I also have the bold point one, but I don't have that here with me. So... This pen, it is very similar, I will say, to the Papermate Ink Joy as far as how it writes. Um, there's something about the way it looks. <laughs> I know that's, I mean, kind of like trivial, but it just looks like a professional pen. Like, if you're, you know, back when we were actually like going to in-person meetings, if you're going to a meeting like a professional you know a business meeting you want to I mean this is like this looks like an adult pen and this looks like something that a teenager would use <laughs> you know I'm not I'm not shading <laughs> this but I'm just saying it just looks so professional and it writes so well and it's it's just good like I it's just good I mean that's really all there is to it so Watch. I'm gonna write and then immediately I mean it dries instantly and da -da -da, you can use my liner over it <laughs> it's just it's just such a good pen and I I go back and forth you know between what's my favorite as far as ink joy gel and sharpie s gel the big thing that the Ink Joy Gel has over the Sharpie S Gel is the color variety. Like I said before, um, that's the big thing with the Ink Joy Gel is that you can get pretty much any color you can think of in these pens. The Sharpie S Gel, however, is incredibly limited. Um, as of you know, the last time I checked, which has been admittedly a couple months, but last time I checked, all they had was your standard black, red, and blue. These, you have every color under the sun. So that's really the biggest difference. As far as the way they write, I'll just do this as a comparison. That did smear a little bit instantly. Look at that. So you can see that, you know, and that did right there on the end. Um, when you wipe like immediately after writing, Thank Joy Gel did smear just a little bit, but I mean, you're typically that's not going to be an issue. <laughs> you're not going to immediately do that. All right, so just wait a minute. Da -da -da. So neither of them smear. Smearing is not anything to worry about with either of these. They don't show through. The, this is, I mean, not the best paper, but 
they don't show through the paper um, in your planner. They're just, they're just good. And I find it like when you look at those two, it looks like they were written with the same utensil. I mean, they, they write very similarly and it really just depends on your preference. Um, again, the Sharpie S gel just looks like luxe and professional. And this looks a little more, you know, <laughs> playful and childish. Uh, it really just depends on my mood uh, as far as which one I'm going to grab. But these are all my favorite pens. So again, just to do kind of a roundup here. Favorite gel pens include Pentel Energel X, Papermate Inkjoy Gel, Sharpie S Gel, Pilot G2, and Bic Gelosity. Favorite felt tip, Sharpie pen, Papermate flare. These are also gel. Uh, these are all jelly roll, but just wanted to show them again. They are great. Again, these white ones are great for um, writing on black paper. And I really love this metallic one. This red one is super bright and this like, oh, I love this one. Really, really good gel pens. And then the Zebra Mild Liners. Um, a lot of times I forget that these are Zebra. <laughs> like, because everybody just calls them Mild Liners, but they are, they are made by Zebra. Shout out to Zebra. Uh, really good highlighters. I mean, just, and I love that they're, they're double-ended. So they also have some Mild Liners now that instead of it being this fine tip on the end, um, it's like that tip for like hand lettering um I'll insert a picture I can't think of what it's called right now but just that kind of like yeah I'm not good at hand lettering I'm just not so I don't have any of those I think these work great for me and again you can buy them individually um at a craft store and uh just kind of pick out the colors that you really like and are going to use like this brown one I know it seems <laughs> I, I laughed when I bought it because I was like, who in the world is going to buy a brown highlighter? But it has really come in handy for so many of my spreads, um, particularly when I'm doing like coffee themes or like more neutral themes. It really works with, um, you know, coffee. I mean, that's really what I think of when I, when I see it is coffee. It's just that nice chocolate brown. All right, so these are all my current favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions uh, in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite pens are. What are your favorite pens and highlighters and markers and, and all that? Whether it's for use in your planner or for, you know, um, your journal or whatever. Just anything. Um, yeah, so those are all my favorite pens. Can't wait to hear what you guys... Uh, what kind of pens you guys like and yeah that's pretty much it so thank you guys so much for watching um please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you have not and i will see you next time